Apple slated to report fiscal first quarter results today after the closing bell. For a preview, let's bring in Tony Sakanagi, <laughs> Bernstein Senior Research Analyst. Tony, uh, good to see you. I'm wondering what in particular you'll really be looking for in this report. The street's expecting a modest return to, to top-line revenue growth as they benefit from the, the new iPhone launch. But uh, what are we looking for beyond that? Uh, good morning. I think we're looking to hear uh, whether ha Apple has confidence to grow for the remainder of the year. Our forecast is for next quarter, uh, Apple will grow modestly this quarter, and for next quarter, uh, it won't grow. And, you know, given uh, a relatively high multiple for Apple and all the magnificent seven stocks, I think the street wants to hear some hope for what the trajectory is for returning to growth for Apple. Yeah, I was struck by that in your uh, in your projections in terms of the next three fiscal quarters. You think there's a significant risk of of revenue shortfall from iPhone sales, uh, you know, versus what the street's expecting. What in particular is that based on? Uh, yes. Yeah, so our contention is that the street is basically saying the year is going to play out very similar to last year. But last year was uh, a very unusual year in the sense that Apple had shutdowns in China in the December quarter. And so a lot of units were pushed into the March quarter. And so accordingly, if you're assuming what happened uh, last year is going to happen against, again this year, you're going to have elevated expectations for the March quarter. Um, we think that supply for iPhones this quarter has been great. All of a Apple's factories have been running. Apple's been in supply-demand balance since, uh, since December. Um, and so it's not the same as last year. And if we run out more traditional seasonality, we actually have iPhone being considerably weaker uh, than what consensus expectations are for the remainder of the year. Now, Apple shares have actually been a bit sluggish, certainly relative to the NASDAQ 100. They've underperformed by, I don't know, 13, 14 percent in the last six months. Uh, is that the market registering these risks or is it, you know, did it just hit a sort of valuation ceiling? How do you value it now? Yeah, Mike, I think that's a great question. It's always hard to know what is in a stock. Obviously, we had great results from Google and Microsoft earlier this week. And and yet those were fully priced in and, and strong double-digit growth and the stocks reacted, you know, modestly negative to those results. So I think that's always very tricky. I think what we would observe is that Apple's valuation um, is towards the high end of its range, but it's not at, at its highest uh, as it has been in the past. Um, and so, you know, the market may be saying, hey, we, we know this, we anticipate this. And, you know, potentially there could be a short-term relief rally. But I think at the end of the day, every large portfolio manager is trying to get the magnificent six or seven right. And, you know, at almost 30 times earnings, Apple's not very differently valued from many of the other magnificent seven. But its growth rate, certainly last year and this year, is dramatically below that. So I think it will be difficult for Apple to have a sustained move from here until investors get more confident in the top line growth or get more confident about the relative valuation versus other mega cap technology names. Or if they pull a rabbit out of the hat, Tony, and this last quick question here. I mean, on the bull case is that, you know, they could emphasize AI. They could come out with some AI something because that has led to the re-rating of some of the other, uh, you know, mag seven big cap tech stocks, whatever you want to call them. Sure. I think, look, AI pixie dusk is, is everywhere. And if you can get some sprinkled on your company, that can certainly have, uh, help with a multiple. So I, I think this notion of, you know, can Vision Pro be really outsized because expectations are very low? Or can Apple do something in AI, you know, would clearly help the stock. I, I just think that's difficult um, for, for Apple to be able to do. Hey, Tony, 30 seconds. Tesla, Musk, pay package. Warranted, unwarranted? You're, you be the judge. Um, I think the absolute number is unwarranted. 250 times what the average CEO is, is making is, is outsized. Um, I think he does deserve an outsized pay package, but that number is, is too big.